Hey guys, it's Greg, the Frozen Food Master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing eggplant parmesan, and I'm cooking it in the microwave. Will it be good? We'll find out in this episode of Freezer Burns. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. Today, we are reviewing this. It is the Cedar Lane Eggplant Parmesan, $5.19 for this meal. Let's take a look at the box. What do you see there? Looks pretty decent, looks very fresh, definitely fits within the Cedar Lane type image of frozen foods. What does it say on the outside of the box? It says eggplant parmesan with roasted vegetables and sun-dried tomato sauce, no trans fats, all natural, 283 grams. Now, I really like eggplant typically, and it's not just fried eggplant. I love eggplant parmesan, but here's what I don't like. I, like, I don't like when the eggplant skin gets really, really tough. It's almost like you cut a slice of summer sausage and you forgot to take the plastic off. I really don't like that. I like it a little soft, and I'm hoping that it's not tasting like a piece of cellophane when I cut this thing open. We're not gonna know until we get it in the microwave, and we're certainly not gonna know until I take my first bite. When we come back, I will have cooked it. I'll tell you how it smells, how it looks, and then we're gonna get this down deep into my belly. Okay, I've taken this out of the microwave. I cooked it for five and a half minutes on high. Before I did that, I punctured the top of the film with a fork about five or six times, and here is how it looks. As you can see, first thing that hit me when I looked at this, uh, big pieces of mozzarella cheese on the top. It is melted very nicely on top. The sauce looks very dense. Um, kind of sticky almost, and you can start to see some of the eggplant peeking through. Now there are bits of zucchini, bell pepper, and onion inside, as well as ricotta cheese. It smells pretty amazing, I must say. It's in the kind of uh, patented Cedar Lane paper container, and uh, I say we get this into my belly. The fork has broken these pieces up uh, very, very easily. Um, very soft. Um, it actually kind of looks mushy when I uh, take this out. I, frankly, it's so soft I could have broken through it with a spoon. So to be honest, that's not terribly appetizing. Let's see how this tastes. Taste amazing. Consistency, pure nastiness. I think that this is uh, one of those meals where you're like, I don't know, maybe if you lost power and you're not, you don't have to look at it, or um, it, I mean, it, it is just really, really good in smell. Great tasting. This flavor is great. I love the, the balance of really fresh tasting tomato, roasted, um, kind of that extra little kick in, in roasting of the vegetables and that cheese kind of mellows out all of those flavors. I really, really dig it, but it is so super mushy that it feels like I need dentures. Um, it is not good in terms of consistency. And to be honest, this kind of makes it feel like wishy-washy when I give it a rating. This is the Cedar Lane Eggplant Parmesan Meal, $5.19 for this box. Consistency, not so good. Taste, amazing. I don't know how to, to rule this, guys. If you don't mind mushy, 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 like literally, uh, I, I probably, if I had a thick straw, I probably could have sucked all of this up through the straw. Um, that's how mushy and soft it is. Now, good thing is I didn't get that super tough, taste like plastic exterior of the eggplant that I was afraid of. That's probably the only good thing uh, because the taste is great, but consistency can totally ruin taste any day of the week. Because of all of that, I give this a three out of five star. Question of the day. Do you like eggplant? And if so, how do you like it prepared? Please leave it in the comment section or Call the Hungry Nation hotline and leave me a voicemail. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is uh, Cal from Brooklyn, and uh, this is a response to uh, 
the Frozen Food Masters review of the Lean Cuisine Asiago Cheese Tortelloni. Uh, yeah, uh, great review, man. And uh, I'm a big fan. Hope to get on the show. All right, see you.